family. We are back again talking of our herb of the day. And we know I have something very special to share with you guys. But since it is our Sabbath, I must give thanks to the Most High for giving us every seed-bearing plant, every seed-bearing fruit that can be used as our food. And as I think about these scriptures, I go back to the reading of having the faith and the strength of a mustard seed. And no, I'm not talking about mustard seed, but I am talking about how powerful seeds are. And today's herb of the day, we are talking about celery seed. Celery seed is something very well known over in our Eastern Hemisphere. Uh, Ayurvedic traditional medicine, they use this to heal a lot of different conditions, guys. And we need to take heed to the teachings in this medicine. This is medicine right here, the celery seed. Now, one of the things they use it for, um, when we go to the doctor, we find out that we have high blood pressure. And the first thing that they give us is an artificial water pill, something like a diuretic. And it's used to basically take the pressure off of the vessels because they have this fluid build up because of high salt content. And this is a good way to use as an alternative. This is our natural diuretic. Use this to take the pressure down. Use this to take the water retention, the edema. Uh, goes in there and just provides more potassium because high blood pressure is basically a potassium deficiency. And if we use the celery seed, it provides potassium, it provides magnesium, provides calcium. It puts those electrolytes in balance. One good way to use it, um, to use the celery seed. So another thing I use it for, it's in my kidneys and pancreas formula. Very, very powerful because our type 1 diabetics don't have a lot of herbs that they can use to help build up the beta cells and the pancreas. So that's what it does. Uh, I found out in a, a lot of different studies that if you use it for 12 weeks straight, you will find that your beta cells will start working again efficiently. So anyone that you know that is type 1 diabetic, start to use the celery seed. Now, uh, celery seed has about 20 different anti-inflammatory agents in it. I'm not going to go over all of them, but it is used for the muscle spasms. It's used for the gout. Uh, basically goes in there and help break down and clear out the uric acids, uric acids inside of our joints. And that means if you're dealing with osteoarthritis, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, the gout, any of those type of conditions, you'll find that the celery seed will be very beneficial with the uses of just three to six weeks. Um, another thing, be careful about the side effects. Now, if you're taking some type of blood thinner, you don't want to use the celery seed because um, even as a natural diuretic, it can thin out the blood more. And since people that are taking diuretics, you don't want to include it with it because you can actually dehydrate your kidneys. Um, if you're using thyroid medications, don't use the celery seed. So I just had to throw these key jewels out. I know a lot of people don't know about it, but this is a way to help us heal a lot of conditions. And I'm telling you, 